It's now commonplace to multi-track record off the back of a Digico console. And in this in-depth video, we're going to take a look at the audio I.O. and copy audio panels. In this setup, we have three SD racks connected via OptiCore. One full-size SD rack and both a mini and a nano rack. I've also got my DigiGrid MGB connected to the MADI ports on the back of the console, ready for virtual sound check, recording and playback. Let's start in the audio I.O. panel and look at a couple of options. First up, line check mode. This allows you to listen directly to any input on the connected rack without having to patch it into a channel. Pressing line check and selecting a socket opens the line check options. Pressing the listen button allows you to listen to it directly, straight to your solo bus. You can choose which solo bus it goes to in the solo options panel. With the line check mode active, you can also set up the input, switch on phantom power, set gain, sample rate conversion, a very useful tool when you're setting up a system or troubleshooting. Now let's set up the first audio copy. If you're copying whole racks of inputs to your recorder, the quickest way is to use the Copy Audio 2 menu. Just select the input rack and copy it straight to a MADI port. This sets up a one-to-one -one patch, rack input 1 going to MADI channel 1, input 2 to MADI 2, etc. If you have multiple smaller racks like the SD Mini and Nano racks, it's useful to be able to combine these inputs into a single MADI stream for recording, and this is when the Copy Audio panel is used. This panel provides a full cross-point router for all available inputs and outputs. Down the left-hand side are the sources, your inputs, and across the top are the destinations or outputs. Since we've already made some copies, we can open up the copy audio matrix to show these, the red squares indicating each of the patches in place. Expanding it out like this allows for individual patch changes to be made. You can use this method to record from multiple smaller racks to a single MADI output, open up each rack in turn and make the patches to channels on the MADI port. It's possible to send an input to multiple destinations. If you're running both primary and backup recording systems, you can use the matrix to send the input to both recorders simultaneously. The red patches indicate the primary copy and the orange patches so that they are secondary copies of the input. But this poses another question. If sending an input to two recorders, when you listen to copied audio, which of these two recordings do you want to use? The set listen source provides you with the ability to choose which input is soft patched to the channel when you press listen to copied audio. You can select any of the copy patches to be the primary and the selected patch will turn red. And if you don't want any playback for any given channel, then the listen safe option ensures that that channel stays live even when you're doing your virtual sound check. The flexibility of the copy audio matrix ultimately allows any physical input to be routed to any physical output. While most of your inputs will be patched into channels for mixing, there may be some additional inputs that you need to record, but never need to mix or play back as part of a virtual sound check, maybe audience mics. Using the line check mode, you could listen to them, set the gains, and then using the copy audio panel, send them directly to a recorder as part of your MADI stream. You're not wasting channel processing or cluttering your surface with unnecessary inputs. So check out the Digico SD line check and copy audio functions next time you're on one of our consoles. And look us up on YouTube for more in-depth videos.